Hi Virgo, welcome back to my channel, Yansa's Universe. It's me, Yansa. Welcome back, existing viewers. Welcome back, existing viewers and subscribers. Why do I get tongue tied talking about y'all? Um, welcome, new viewers and subscribers. This is going to be your October through November reading. We're gonna take a look at love, money, um, anything, any messages from spirit. So, this is for Virgo placements. These messages could be predictive, so check back with me through a period of time. Um, also, if anything don't resonate, make sure you check your other uh, readings, your other placements, your other signs. Don't forget to like and subscribe, y'all, because the more uh, views and likes we get on the individual reads, the more bonuses I can do for y'all. Okay? So, let's jump into it. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. So take me as I go within the tarot. Keep me safe. Return to sender any and all negativity. No open that's only against me shall prosper. Please give me clear honest messages for Virgo placements from October through November 2023. What's going on in general for Virgo placements? Okay. We have the three of Michael which represents the three of swords, y'all. So what's going on is you guys really need to release the past. You are going to grow from this situation, Virgo. The time heals wounds. Time is going to heal. Some of y'all haven't released. Some of y'all are going through, you know, just purging the energy, getting, letting the energy go, just clearing it out, doing your spiritual baths, getting out into nature, exercising, eating healthy, really... um healing your mind and your heart, your body, soul, spirit, cleansing that energy, release and heal whatever it is that got you stuck, Virgo. Time is going to heal, okay? Let me see what's at the bottom of the deck. Four of Wands, about a relationship, about family. There could have been a breakup. There could have been a separation. You could feel like you're alone. You know, you could feel like you're distant from some someone or people, but it's gonna be time to celebrate abundant rewards for your hard work release yourself from burdensome situations release yourself you don't have to be in this burdensome situation you don't have to still be heartbroken and sad okay let's see what's going on in career and finances for you virgo all right What's going on for Virgo? Turtle. Money is coming slowly. You're making steady progress. You could be moving for work. Um, you're patiently waiting, but these are coming in due time and good time. Okay, there are some things that's happening for you that's going to be for the long term for the long run it's, it's slow but steady anything else in regard to turtle anything else for virgo wings so you guys are rising above the money issues you could be facing either now or during this time period that we're reading for between october and november so business is taking off. You're going to be making your profit. Career could be, you could be in spiritual work. You could be, your job could be going according to your life's purpose. Okay. Or your mission. So some of y'all are actually, some of y'all could be creating um, the business that you've always dreamed of. You guys are going according to your purpose, your destiny, you know, your, your mission. You feel like you guys are doing what God put you on this earth to do. And that's so rewarding, especially to do in your career. Now, things might be going pretty slow. You know, it's just like for me, I feel like God put me on this earth to do tarot. And when I tell you this crap is going so slow, very slow, but stay consistent. You're making steady progress. It's all coming in due time. And this is going to be for the long term. Working for yourself or creating money for yourself or letting your money make money for you. Whatever it is that you're doing, you're rising above the money issues that you're facing. Your business is going to be taking off. You're going to be making a profit from this, Virgo. So this is great. Let's see what's going on for you in love between October and November 2023. 
All right, love messages for Virgo. We have free yourself. This is perfect. It's time to take back control of your life, Virgo. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally and make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So some of y'all are releasing yourself, healing. It's time to take back control of your life. Get out of this sad three of swords energy. Okay, don't be so controlling. You are being controlling because you don't want to get hurt again. Let situations unfold naturally. And if there's somebody you love, take the steps you're guided to take, Virgo. All right, let me see. Anything else? For Virgo. Girl talk. Or some of y'all could be getting with your guy friends and talking. You're having time with friends. Moving on. Moving on. Getting out of that three of swords energy. You could, you could be happily single. And you're living in the moment. Just having fun, Virgo. Sorry, baby. I'm sorry. It's okay. Drake, what did he do? What song is it? Oh, gosh. Josh left. He got on the bus. I'm kind of sad because I wanted to hang out some more. I'm grieving. I miss them already. Yeah. Yeah, it's therapeutic ish. I don't know. I don't know what that feeling is. All right, who are we doing, Virgo? Okay. Drake? What did he do? All right. All right, Virgo, what's going on? Ooh, anxiety. You guys are anxious over some type of financial constraints. You guys are anxious about something. Ah, oh, Virgo, 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 what y'all doing? What y'all going through? Some of y'all could have lost a job. Some of y'all could have just got a new job and you got to work a week in the hole. Sometimes it's two, three weeks. Things is going on with the money. Things is going on with the career stability. Y'all just anxious. Is this going to work out? Is this going to be fruitful? How am I going to do this and do that? You're going through a lot of worry and distress and heartache with the three of swords. Release that. Okay. You're going to grow from this situation. Okay. You're filled with anxiety and worrying about something that causes you a great deal of discomfort. When you receive this card, it may indicate that you're experiencing a time of increasing stress, perhaps even a situation that you find yourself brooding about much of the time. So some of y'all could be sulking, a lot of five of cups energy, but I need you to know, if you notice the scene outside of her window, the storm is distant and perhaps even moving away. So you guys, make sure you're not still crying over things that are getting better. That's um, the chaos and the stress. It is moving away from you. Don't continue sulking when it's your season of prosperity is coming in. Whatever is going on, this card is telling you to release the worry and let yourself relax, Virgo. Brooding and fretting will never resolve you know, your issues. It's not going to solve things. Just trusting yourself and the process. When you live with a relaxed heart and mind, you're far more likely to receive the solutions that you seek. The affirmation is, I let go of fear and worry. I assume the best and live in peace. All is well. So we do have free yourself when it comes to love. You're refusing to let go of the worry. You're refusing to let go of the pain. You're refusing to let go of the fear. Assume the best and live in peace. All is well, Virgo. Y'all have this very pessimistic mindset. Okay? Let's get some messages from the tarot. Alright. What's going on for Virgo? The tarot may not correlate with the oracle messages. Just take what resonates. Okay? 
Ace of Wands reversed. Okay, there's a delay. There's even a delay in your love life. There's a delay with this new start. There are delays. All right. We have the Queen of Wands. But that has nothing to do with your value. That has nothing to do with your image. It has nothing to do with your self-worth. There are some things that aren't working the way you want them to, but that has nothing to do with you. It has nothing to do with your value, okay? You're still perfect. You're still fine. You're still sexy. You still got, you know, you still going to get the money you need and whatever it is that you deserve. Live in peace. The Queen of Wands is a very relaxed energy, okay? Some of y'all are trying to, too busy hurting yourself, trying to control everything. All right, anything else? The devil reverse. Please let go of this obsession and anxiety. Let go of the fear, the depression, the devil reverse. This no longer has control over you. You're freeing yourself. Some of y'all are rising above money issues. Some of y'all is not spending your money wisely. It's time to take back control of your life. Okay. Anything else? Uh, the Ace of Cups reverse. We got the Ace of Wands reverse and the Ace of Cups reverse. So a delay in this new passion, a delay in your career, a delay in, you know, this new adventure. There's even a delay in love. There's a delay in emotional satisfaction. There's a delay in um, gratification. That We do have money coming slowly, but there's a steady progress. You might want it to shoot off like a rocket, but it's slowly trickling in. Rise above money issues. Business is taking off. You are going to receive your profit. Some of y'all could be single right now, having fun, enjoying being single, a new lease on life with the fool. Some of y'all could be anxious because you feel like, okay, everything is starting to go better in my life except love, or everything is starting to go better in my life except this or that, okay? What's going on? Release that, Virgo. Anything else? All right, the Nine of Pentacles reverse. Y'all don't like being single for some reason. Y'all are dis y'all are not comfortable being single. The Nine of Pentacles is a also one of the most happiest, successful cards in the deck, and it came out reverse. Why? Five of Swords reverse. Y'all just want somebody there with y'all. Y'all just. Y'all just want company. Y'all just want somebody there with y'all joined at the hip. You just want a person. Anything else? You really going within yourself with the Hermit card is helping you release these burdens, the Ten of Wands. Anything about love that Virgo should be excited about? The Knight of Pentacles. What you should be excited about is that it is coming. Let it come in due time. What you should be excited about is that this person that's coming in is going to be here with you for the long term, the long haul. Okay? Don't get in your own way with the Seven of Swords. All right. Enjoy the now. Enjoy the moment. Live in the moment, Virgo. We have Capricorn, fire, earth, water, air. Um, Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, Earth, Virgo, and Fire. Okay, you guys. This is all I have for you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until I see y'all again, um, check your other readings. You can donate to the channel, book personal readings with me. Subscribe. I love y'all. Y'all be safe. Until next time. Peace.